Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Children of Verite. We're so excited to have you here. Um, again, I'm a little under the weather once again. I'm so sorry. Um, so you'll have to listen to my husky Kathleen Turner voice this evening. Um, <clears throat> and I will mute myself uh, before I do anything that blows your ears out, hopefully. Um, but for now, let's first jump to Adam. Adam, who are our sponsors today? I am feeling great, unlike Deb tonight. Um, <laughs> But I hope she feels better. Um, and I like, uh, you know, the Kathleen Turner voice. Uh, it works. Um, we have some incredible sponsors for this. Uh, what what number are we on? Just where? 61. 61. Wow. Yeah. So all along that way, we have had our superb sponsor, Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Thank you so much for the Thank continued you. support. It is an incredible game. It is a game that I have up running uh, in the background all the time. That's kind of, uh, you know, uh, a wonderful, wonderful use case for the video game. So check that one out and uh, find some characters that uh, many of our cast members have contributed to uh, to that game. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, thanks for the support. You can grab an Electrum chest code on the overlayer bouncing around in chat. We also have Die Hard Dice, mm -hmm. and uh, I am completely out. <gasps> uh, I'm completely out of things, and I forgot to pull them over. So I just don't even know what I am supposed to do now. I sent you a list. Any, oh. you, you sent a list? I did. I did. Um, okay. Well, I found I found a list here. I found a list. A list. So we are, we are going to do this. So it is. Uh, they have supplied our cla uh, cast with Alicia Marie's Makers of Mayhem. Makers of Mayhem, Maurice. Makers down. of Mayhem. <laughs> Apparently, we're doing real names this time, so All we'll right. get through that I list, like and it. then I will check out whatever Hope has <laughs> sent me, um, and we'll we'll do that next. But uh, thanks, uh, Die Hard Dice. You can use the code Airtay to get ten percent off your order, and we also are giving away a twenty dollar promotional code. Pay attention to the prompts and chat for that as well. And finally, tonight you will hear the epic sounds of Sirenscape because epic games need epic sound. I'm Adam Bradford, CDO at Demiplane. We have a ton going on right now. Uh, today we launched our uh, Vampire, the Masquerade Nexus character tools. So if you have ever been curious about Vampire and, and playing in the world of darkness, it is time uh, time to go on that. Uh, it, it's easier than ever to create a character, uh, get started uh, with your first foray into the night so uh so get uh, get ready for that and check that out uh vampirenexus.com tonight i am playing silas sorrell your dimensionally displaced magical super fan it feels like a long time since i've said that i can't believe i got it right hey, everybody uh i'm alicia marie you can find me on socials at alicia marie body i'm actually getting over like a sinus cold or something not covid but something random so I'm going to try also to not sniff into my microphone because it's disgusting. Um, okay, it's October, whatever. I wanted to mention two uh, things that are coming. Monday is a really big day for me uh, <laughs> because Idol Champions presents uh, uh, six launches on Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll be playing my brand new character, Thalora. She's amazing. I can't wait. I just can't wait for Monday. But I also have on the glass cannon at 5 p.m. the second season of Traveler. So Monday's like gonna be a really exciting character game for me because there's two new characters. Anyway, tonight I'm playing a beloved character, Fruz Armstrong, attorney at law. Yay. Um, hello, I am Jen Kretschmer. You can find me on socials as at DreamWisp and streaming on Twitch as DreamWisp Jen. Um, today I was hanging out with our friends at Hero Forge. Um, and we built Maeve. Uh, we built a, a baby of Maeve. Um, it was really, really fun. Um, and everybody here is going to be hanging out over there at some point. Um, you can check out the VOD of um, my visit over with Annika um, over on the Hero Forge Twitch channel and check out uh, the other folks when they are there. But it's, it's really fun to see our characters come to life in the miniature form. Um, but tonight I will be playing uh, your friendly neighborhood troublemaker, Morgan Flynn. 
Hi, everyone. I'm Lauren Urban. Check out my website, lauren-urban.com, because it's easier <laughs> to send people there than it is to send people to all of the socials that might not be there anymore. So go there. Uh, I wasn't able to get my name without the dash, but hey, you know, the dash makes it fancy, I guess. I don't How know. How dare there be another Lauren Urban somewhere? How dare? There's, there's not only another Lauren Urban, there's another Lauren Urban who plays oboe. One of these days we need to get together and fight. Anyway, tonight <laughs> I am friends. not. Wait, and you mean, there you mean an, only one. an oboe fight, right? Yes, like, fight like with a, oboes. Yes. It's yes, that's a, exactly. Like a, like a rock battle. Yeah. Like you're going to oh. smash each other over the head with oboes? No, like, like. <laughs> Like, like a yeah, dueling banjos, like, like, like dueling I mean, oboes. I mean, why not all of these things all at once? Exactly. Like gigs are two and a half hours with a 15 minute break. We can do a lot in two and a half hours. <laughs> anyway, tonight I'm not playing the oboe, I'm playing a shark <laughs> who happens to go by Neb. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Hope Lavelle. You can follow me on the socials at the Hope Lavelle. You can watch me as a dungeon master uh, on Misfits of Alsetta every Wednesday. And uh, you will, I, it's going to be my turn on Thursday uh, to do Hero Forge and have Robin made into a mini, oh, I which I hear that. they just added a an aging effect for the minis. So we're actually oh, going to get age accurate Robin. So I it's going to be it. really cool. Uh, so check it out on Thursday. Watch out for my socials uh, for all the details. Uh, and tonight I am playing Miss Robin Beckett, your favorite granny for hire. Cool. So wait, are you guys doing like current your characters now or back when they started? Or I think it's like, up to us. That's a good question. Oh. We started oh. without the adjustments, and then as we started fiddling with it, we decided to start adding. Oh my gosh, I'm more so and more excited! Things. I can't wait yeah. to see them. <laughs> I wonder if they have a fox cowl. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh they can figure it out. Well, but you know, like I don't know, it's just little ears, right? This ought to be something. Annika, Annika is a wizard with that stuff, and they will find a way to yeah. make it happen for you. Mm -hmm. Amazing! That's so cool. Um, and I'm Deborah Amwell. I'm your storyteller for this evening. Um, so everyone, please join us. Get something cozy to drink. Settle in for the 61st chapter of Children of Erte, and our second chapter in Tiver. Um, so to catch you all up a little bit, since it's been our, our week off uh, since we were here, um, <clears throat> you all began last episode having set foot in Tiver, uh, Ivy's world. Um, as she also set foot here, you saw a transformation for her, uh, really coming back into her her ruler form. Um, she took you on a walk across uh, with some water to an ice flow and then down into the oceans beneath um, as you walk down the spiral, spiraling um, <clears throat> ramp underwater, there were all these different spheres of habitats set up along here. And the first one that you came to had a, a broken compass that was spinning wildly. And she explained that she needed to fix this compass, but that the beacon that would call to all of her people, all of her subjects, uh, clearly was being blocked by something and asked if you would go down into the depths and clear that blockage for her. Um, she also mentioned to you that up in the mists above, you can call uh, to those that have passed on. Um, and you all jumped off the plank and began to descend into the inky darkness below. Uh, as you did, uh, a good ways down, uh, you began to notice swirling creatures within this water um, that then began to attack. We are now partway through a <laughs> devastating battle. <laughs> I'm not sure any of us were prepared for, DM included. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and um, here's where we stand. Um, <clears throat> Robin is currently unconscious and being somehow inhabited and strangled by this creature. Um, that's the other thing too. Uh, Ivy touched your foreheads and gave you a tiara, a ring, a crown that um, has allowed you to move through this water very easily, very fluidly, no trouble breathing. Um, however, this creature as it enters is actually squeezing down on the apparatus that allows you to breathe 
in any case. Um, so yes, Robin right now is unconscious and strangled and making death saving throws. Maeve is up there in this top clump with her. Uh, I think there's currently four four Maves uh, visible at the moment. Um, Feruza, Neb, Pivim, and Silas, you're 30 feet lower below that, that first higher clump. Uh, within you, you all are battling and Pivim is currently inhabited and strangled at the same time. Um, uh, Silas, you have some advantage on death saving throws and max healing magic going. Neb, you have a, a healing uh, aura D6 area um, that is currently down near you. Um, and with that, I believe, Feruza, you are next. So you are down in this clump with the rest of them. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, uh, go ahead. Bob. Look like you had something to say. Did I miss something? Uh no. Okay, I was going to, um, so of all of us, the only person that's being sort of actively attacked is Pivim at the, at the bottom. It is in your lower clump. You can see Pivim. Well, he's a shark. Uh, <laughs> he's a reef shark at the moment. Yeah. But, you know, even this reef shark that swims in the water is somehow yeah. being constricted by this, this thing that is inside of it. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, that's, I mean, that's the first thing she's going to try to do. Okay. So before she rages, before anything happens, she's going to turn toward that creature. And mm -hmm. as she puts her hand up, this electric lasso appears in her hand sort of thing. And she's going to throw it toward the creature that's attacking Pivim for just, just a lightning lord to pull, try to attempt to pull it off. Okay. Him. Okay. Um, is that a strength saving throw for me? Something yeah, like that? Yeah, 14. All right. Here we go. I wish I had luck. <laughs> Ooh. Um, that's going to be a fail <gasps> on my part. So you, this lightning, you all see it. This like little lightning rope lasso of truth, mm -hmm. uh, of justice. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to tie itself around a portion of the, the water near um, Pivim. As you do, Fruzen, you whip it back. Um, it is, it's, it's almost like a, a separate current <laughs> spins, pulling itself off of Pivim uh, and disappearing, or being, disappearing, being sort of hurled off. How far can you take it? Um, okay, so 15 feet, pulled 10 feet in a straight line toward me, and it takes 1d8 damage. Okay, give me your damage. damage. It's just two. It's a baby. I just wanted to pull it off him. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely <laughs> works. Um, so Pivim, you know, the shark you see immediately kind of, you know, uh, wriggle itself back into a position uh, and start to try to get its bearings again. Um, anything else for Ruzo? Um, I think just as a bonus action, she's going to grit her teeth and her eyes are going to start flashing. And then she says, there is, and that's all. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Amazing. Um, there is one right next to you, however, Feruza. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And this one. Okay, great. Uh, so it's going to try to slam into you okay. twice. That one's not going to hit, but this one is a... 22 to hit. That will hit me. That will hit you. <laughs> yes, it will. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, oh, I, I do have some evil. defenses, so let's see what you got. I have a pretty good evil laugh when I'm <laughs> sick. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Here we go. Um, that's 19 bludgeoning damage. Ooh, okay, I do have resistance. You have resistance too. Um, <laughs> as this thing, boom, boom, ricochets into you from either side. Um, <clears throat> Neb, you up next. So and Neb the shark is going to grin, which is a little disconcerting because she's happy that Pivim is okay. And then I, the, the swirling sparkles <laughs> that she made and you know, one of those those disconcerting shark eyes on the side is just going to look up. And as she looks up as a bonus action, all the healing sparklers move up 30 feet. Uh, and I want to move them directly into the spot that Robin is in because it can do that. And um, the the what they do is as soon as a creature you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it gets to do the healing. Um, and so because of Silas, that means Robin gets eight hit points back. Woo! So you is are that high enough that I'm also in that. So you are had... you next to Robin? 
I was close to Robin. I right? believe you had moved up ten feet above Robin okay. at some point. Um, but if it says, I mean, it says uh, if you start your turn, right? Uh, if you move into it, or if you start your turn there. So you basically, at some point, it. yeah. Um, so because yeah, Robin is thirty feet up from me, and Maeve is forty. And I believe Maeve made a move that sort of pushed pulled you up a little bit higher than than yeah. Maeve. So I can't I can't quite get it up to Maeve, but it's close. Okay. It's super close. Okay. It's right there. Um, cool. So that's my bonus action. Robin gets six uh, health back. I can do that, I believe, two more times. And then I'm going to turn to... Okay, the one that's on Pivim is no longer on Pivim. It's been moved 15 feet away. What's... Uh, or pulled pulled 10 feet. Or what, pulled 15 feet. Yeah. yeah um, the There's one a that's... whole bunch of them around you. <laughs> Silas yeah. has two on him. All right, let's move over to Silas. Um, because I, as a, as a shark, get advantage if one of my friends are nearby. And Silas is a friend. Um, as is as is Pivim, the other reef shark. Yeah. Um, but Silas has got two on him, and uh, Pivim yeah. is, at the moment, at least slightly more safe. So, <laughs> reef shark, there we go. Uh, oh. It's gonna be a uh, bite uh, 14 to hit. A 14 to hit will hit. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so it's gonna be 1d8 plus two. Oh, actually I should have rolled that twice because I have advantage. Uh, yeah. So let me just, let me just crit yeah, fish real quick, shot. real here. Crit check. Oh, sh <gasps> it happened. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> That's wild. <Good> <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I rolled. Uh, I rolled a seven. So I'm good. And that's uh, plus. Two, so it'd be nine. So it'd be eighteen. Wow. Because Fantastic. yeah, I just did that for funsies, and then it happened. And it happened. That's why I, I, I would like to take a shot. Uh, always, always roll for your crit, even. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, more so yeah, you know. That's uh, eighteen mm. piercing damage Amazing. against the water. Against the water. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, you do notice it's not, uh, you know, as super <laughs> <laughs> effective as you'd love it to be, but, yeah. uh, why not? Um, cool. And that's, that's, that's all for me. All right. <clears throat> Let me do this here. Okay, there we go. <coughs> all right. Uh, it is now Pivim's turn. Pivim, the reef shark, also now having, um, been released, uh, swims up by you. Uh, you even see, you know, uh, it winks at you a little bit, you know, even though I can't really, sharks can't do that. Um, but you know, it like, I don't know, tries to. Um, and it is also with advantage going to attempt to bite the same guy next to Silas there. Um, Tear this thing apart. It is going to hit and he's going to do, where is it there? Eight damage. He did not crit. <laughs> and Everything again, else. it it you you know same as you felt Neb as you bit down. There was a little bit of resistance, but you kind of went through it then too. It's you know it's partially um, um, you know resistant to uh, what you're doing. Uh, fantastic, Deb. Find find another word. All right, <laughs> now it's number three's turn here. Uh, who is currently unattached who's down there Ooh, it's gonna go after neb shark i think um yeah, okay. so two two slams coming towards neb shark okay. oh those are some good high maths there uh that's gonna be 224s to hit oh yeah fantastic oh. this is yeah. exciting oh oh that's horrible um uh, I, I will say I will need these uh, separately because I, I think the spell I'm that I have up is concentration. So All I right. will need to know about concentration saving. So first. the first hit is going to be 20 points of damage. Holy mackerel. Okay. I might not be a shark for much longer. Okay. And the second is going to be 13. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm not a shark anymore. You are not a shark anymore. Uh, so eleven is gonna go through. So you all watch 
boom, boom, as Neb gets tossed side to side in the water, the bubbles, uh, you know, rippling around as she's pulled back and forth. It's almost like um, like a possession movie, you know, where it's like almost this unseen force pulling her back and forth um, in shark form on the first one. And then as it's moving, the second one suddenly flicker, flicker, Neb returns. Um, but number. I do remain concentrating on the healing sparkles. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, they're, they're still there for anyone up top who needs them. Because right now, uh, the second creature that is up there with Robin is going to go. Mm. Um, oh, dear. And you ate, you're unconscious. No, she's up because up. She, she got oh, healed. It hit, got healed a bit, but okay. I got that on the floor already because I'm so excited. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Maeve. Because I don't yes. want to do this. With your your uh, deft dexterity, wily ways, and quick quick thinking and quick movement, would you like to use your reaction to try to steal this attack away from Robin? Sure. Yes. You don't have do. to. You don't have to. <laughs> no, it's okay. I will. I just um, want to. I want to make the oh. offer because it's it's counter the rules. Uh, but this thing is, um, it, you can see like it's it, you know they've just revived Robin. Her eyes have opened. There's yeah, still yeah, yeah. She's on been, her. she's she's in rough shape. You see another one going um, to battle in, and I just want to offer with your reaction. I'm offering if you yeah, would like. Well, to so if it if it comes, this yeah. is the one that I had my that I had hit before, right? <clears throat> you, uh, let's see. No, uh, you had oh, your. Oh, this is the other one. This is the other one. You had your eye on this one, I believe. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll double check, but I think so. Yes, but you had the one um, on the one that was strangling. On the one that was on Robin. This okay, is this so is just this the one. second the one that one. was up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will. I will. Oh gosh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you can take I'll, it? I'll swim in and take I'm, it. Robin's shaking her head. I mean, maybe Robin can see you up there thinking about it. Uh, if I see Robin shake her head, um, but she's in bad shape. D I'm up, right? Yes, you're, so, you're awake. You're just uh, low, potentially. You have two um, slams coming your way. Okay, uh, Robin would like to silvery barbs one of them. If okay, so um, so you're you're shaking your head to to me. Yeah. And say oh, then I will I will okay. listen to to Miss Robin. Okay, I just wanted to offer it. Yes, uh, as it was a little counter. Okay, here comes two of them. Oh, okay, uh, a seventeen and a twelve. Miss both. <sighs> Look at that. So. As you look down and, and you see this this creature begin to start to move towards Robin, Maeve, and you're looking down and you get this this instinct to maybe run in, but you see Robin just a little, perce in, barely perceptible shake of her head as she's just able to kind of uh, uh, take the hits, but not, not let them jostle her brain. Um, and she makes it through. We are now down with Silas. Silas, you have two of them around you. Uh, currently in combat with you. Um, along this time, have I observed any ability for them to communicate? No. I mean, you have not seen them engage with each other at all. Okay. Um... <clears throat> all right. Um, I am going to... Um, all right, out of everything. So, uh, we're going to, um, I'm going to strike out at the one in front of me. Okay. Uh, just with, uh, like I, I kind of like just spin around with a back fist uh -huh. and hit it. And I'm just calling out spinning back fist. <laughs> um, and then, uh, I'm going to, uh, actually, uh, use a bonus action to then um as that attack starts uh bonus action is uh summoning what uh, looks like a giant glowing 
man in, you know, scaled armor yeah. with beautiful, uh, you know, long brown hair. Fish, fish scale nice. armor? Uh, yeah, like fish scale armor um, that's like orange, and he's got a giant trident, uh -huh. and uh, he just looks a whole lot like Jason Momoa, and uh, he is going to attack behind uh, behind while I'm shouting, spinning back fist into the the water. Um, and your 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 fist attacks are magical, yes. That is correct. Um, they are magical to behold. Um, <laughs> magical. So uh, that is a, an eighteen. That'll hit. Okay, and so that deals. Mm. Uh, that is going to be. Um, mm. Uh, 12 points of force damage All right. and um, so uh, as I do that then I'm uh, the uh, you know uh, aquatic gentleman uh, an, an aqua man if you will yes if you will um, he I feel is, does he have orange black and white stripes uh, yeah yeah all, all of the things like that you would expect for an aquatic gentleman to have uh -huh. um, and so he rolls a 17 does that hit that does hit Okay, and that is going to, um, that is pretty good too. Uh, that is 13 points Ooh, of force damage. Very nice. And uh, with that, <laughs> I, I have two on me, is that correct? You do, you have a second Am one. Am I seeing any kind of effect after this uh, attack? Effect. Uh, like, does it look like it is struggling at all? Oh, on the one that you've like... hit? Yeah. Um not really <laughs> yeah it doesn't bleed it doesn't bruise um you know as you as you we're hit just it, punching the ocean basically you're punching the ocean <laughs> yeah which um, is a f completely futile activity got it yeah okay. you know i mean yeah. it's it's you can you can you can sense that it's recoiling that it's taking the hits um but you don't you don't sense weakness in it as of yet all right that all right. i am staying put right here in the middle of it so now the this punching bag that you and uh, the man of Aqua have um, have been unleashing your fury on, it is now its turn. <coughs> Ooh, <laughs> fun! Um, it's it's going uh, to swirl around you and again try to absorb itself into your molecules. Please make a strength saving throw. I continue to be very strong. Um, so that is a 17. That'll, that'll succeed. You again, <laughs> grit down, tighten those muscles and expel this water from this, that your body that is now sort of partially, you know, uh, uh, water itself it's sort of a trans as, as i feel it happening yeah i just kind of you know like pull my arms back and, and tighten up and i just say nice taut buttocks <laughs> and yell it into the water as well <laughs> fantastic robin we're back up at you you are awake you are still surrounded by two of these creatures you've just dodged or or absorbed the attacks of one what would you like to do also you get oh yeah six health because mm -hmm. now it's the start of your turn in the sparklers and uh Maeve, there's one more for you <laughs> before wait, wait, it goes are away. Are you saying Silas gets six health? No, uh, oh, Robin, sorry. Yeah, I was about to say because I'm not down, so please don't waste on me. <clears throat> oh, we, we could all use some healing, but but no, Robin. No, actually, I can't use healing right now. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh, in okay. no uncertain terms. Yeah. <laughs> don't heal, Silas. Hmm. Uh, okay. That changes things. Okay, um, so I have some health. Um, okay, uh, you said there's. Am I? I'm restrained. No, you you've been you've been released from. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, you just woke up. Yeah. It's still on you, actually, which means start of your turn. Yeah, you're still grappled. Start of your turn. Ten. Ten damage. Ten bludgeoning damage. Jeez. <clears throat> as it okay. again starts to squeeze down on your windpipe all right um so this is interesting um all right dm's discretion because yes. this this trait doesn't say 
anything about being grappled. <laughs> okay. But Robin is going to try. She's just going to say out loud, she's, I'm sorry, everyone. And Robin's going to try to sneak into her backpack. Wait. Okay. <clears throat> let's do, let's do a... <laughs> And release her army of dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, no. I can crawl into my backpack. Okay, so bring this creature with you. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. So, um, yes, let's do like a grapple release. So let's see. Let's do a strength check to see if you can like pull yourself out of its grasp. Um, so yes, give me a a strength or athletics check. There's just a strength check. It's just a strength check. Yeah. Okay, so it's one. Uh, that is a 20 on the die. <gasps> so that's a 19. Okay. <clears throat> so you wrench yourself <clears throat> out of the grasp of this thing. It's, again, almost like what Silas did. It's like a tension of your muscles and just a, you all sort of see it kind of pull out of her body like, like a possession being released. She just sort of, you know, bursts out now that she can she can get some movement past her vocal cords i'm sorry everyone and you see her do a back somersault into her backpack and it's just a little floating backpack that begins <laughs> to sink down the water the weight of it carrying it down and down and down is that all robin that's all i can do all right wow. <laughs> awesome May <laughs> Robin disappeared into her backpack. <clears throat> That's incredible. That's amazing. Wow. Just thinking back. Just, yeah, she's a little bug in a rug. Uh, so cozy. Um, and filled with killer dolls. Yeah. Like, she's just filled with killer um, dolls. That's all. And just, who just, thinks she's her mama? Who thinks? I mean, who wouldn't want to hang out? <laughs> It sounds like the best vacation ever. I love it. Um, okay, um, this is that's just delightful. Sorry. Um, uh, I am going to swim down and I'm going to attack the one that was uh, strangling Robin um, uh, with uh, warning it to stay put. Mm. And as you move into where Robin's face was, you get the last bit of <gasps> peeling from Yay. the the little the bioluminescent sparklers happening and the, the swirling stuff. And then it all just seems to fade and the, the bioluminescence like scatters into the water just Ooh. in all directions. Pretty. Because that was the last time. Um, oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Is is it within five feet of the other creature? Yes, it is. <clears throat> Darn it. Mm. Uh, you know what? I will instead uh, just no. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, go ahead. So. A 19. A 19 will hit, absolutely. Okay. Oh, and I actually I get two shots at it go for it so uh just through the water almost like they are you can't see much but they're just yeah can feel the uh the current second one is uh 16. 16 will hit two hits give me damage uh 13 on the first one uh -huh. 11 on the second so 24. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so this has, you know, it's almost like, like if you like uh, in movies when like bullets or arrows go through water and it leaves that little like bubble trail, you know, you sort of see these bolts slide through the water and as it, as it sort of moves through and it gets disrupted or lodged and whatever this sort of slightly more viscous area is, um, you do think you hear a... <sighs> some sort of moan of pain um and this and it, it almost seems going to curl in on itself uh when it gets hit um anything else me um i think that's all i'm going to 
do right now. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll swim back up a little bit. Okay, swing back up. But um, the other one that is there in that area um, is going to swim up and follow you. Now, this is the one that you marked to not move, I believe. So when it moves towards you, is that still going? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh. It, when it lasted until the start okay. of my turn, I believe. Okay, so that's out. Uh, yes, that's okay. Done. Then it's gonna move up towards you and try to slam twice. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, that's a fourteen and a twenty-three. They will hit both of my. Oh, let me just see if it. Uh... Yes, uh, the first one hits one of my duplicates. The second one hits me. Ooh. Ouch. 13 bludgeoning damage. Oh! As it ricochets up towards you, um, you know, almost as your two bolts come down and hit the other one, this one sort of catches it and looks up and, you know, becomes, it sort of mimics that same uh, shape as it rollicks its way up towards you, slamming into you, uh, you know, uh, slamming into one of your doubles first and then doubling back to get you with the second. Um, all right, that's it. Number two, down by Silas. Um, this guy's gonna see. All right, he fails at that. <clears throat> Ooh, I think that's gonna be two misses on you, Silas. Uh, I have a 13 and a 15 to hit you. Both miss. Both miss. So again, Silas is just like break dancing <laughs> under the water, provoking and avoiding all of these, uh, you know, these sort of currents that swim around him. Feruza, we're back to you. <clears throat> oh, you're muted, dear. Oh my goodness, there we go. Okay. Um. So for so right now, nearest me is, I guess, a couple. Yeah, there's still four down there with you. Yeah. Um. And um, I'll say this. Uh, you, <laughs> you look up. You can see Robin's bag, uh, just descending, coming past you <laughs> as it sinks down. Yeah. Frieza just watches it, yeah. confused. Then she looks up to see what's going on up there. And ooh, but it, it'd be a minor action to grab the bag, wouldn't it? <laughs> Um, I mean, it depends. I mean, I, I yeah, I mean, if you want to, we could say take a bonus action to grab it. Okay, yes. And, she, and she's, so basically she's standing there. She's like, ah! And as she does this with her hands, the backpack comes down and just hooks on her arm. And she's like, oh. all right. <laughs> well, I'll allow it. <laughs> and she looks up, looks up to see what, what's going on up there. But Where's she just sort of slings it over her shoulder. And with one hand, and this is actually a good thing, because uh -huh. with one hand I can use a special Ooh. sort of effect. With one hand, the axe itself, elemental, cleaverishly, <laughs> mm. um, ignites with lightning and elect with electricity, even though it's in water. And with one hand on the backpack and one in her arm, she's just gonna swing it wide, clipping that one. Hold on. And that will be, I have a lot of bonuses with this one. Yes, you do. Does a 23 hit? It absolutely hits. <laughs> so let's see. We get 12 plus, oh boy. <laughs> 12 plus, 12 plus five. Okay. 17 plus two. two. 19 damage. Woo. <clears throat> All right. Um, math. I love math. And cool. It comes back because they have oh, an extra attack. That's right. <laughs> yes. So it's basically like this: swing, swing. <laughs> Second attack. Let's see if it hits. Eighteen. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh! Like oh my gosh, you're shredding thing. this thing. <laughs> so it's twelve plus fourteen. Damage. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Um, now you're starting to see similar to what Maeve saw. You hear a little, <gasps> some sort of sort of little little vocalizations that seem to be almost sort of radiating through the water itself as you just hack and slash around you in this whirlwind at this creature that's sort of hiding but also everywhere at once um, and you feel it just kind of <clears throat> curl in on itself as, as it seems to take the, this damage and, and, and start to feel the pain of your hits. Um, it is now its turn. Mm -hmm. um, whoo. As it sort of curls in on itself, it kind of looks up and, and if it had eyes, it's almost just as if 
bubbles or a weird current were to sort of make little hollows in front of your face. So again, it's almost as if you're you're looking at one another, but there there isn't a face. It's just water. And you just see it back away from you, at which you can take an opportunity attack if you would like to. I can. Mm-hmm. At first, she, when she realizes she's seeing what looks like eyes, yeah. she instinctively reaches her hands out to touch it. Yeah. But then she decides not to. <laughs> I'll say this. As you reach out to touch it, you can you can feel the, like, riptide around your fingers, like the little swirling of it around your fingers. <clears throat> and because she's still in rage, yeah. she's going to reach her hand out and touch it, and it's going to be an unarmed strike. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, not bad. 19 to hit. It'll hit. Okay, that's six damage. All right. <laughs> um, so as you reach out, it's almost as if you you claw or you, you gouge a finger into this, you know, the, 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 the watery flesh of whatever this is. And as it pulls itself away, it almost does the damage to itself as it pulls its visage away from your, your, your gripped fingers. Um, but it does manage to back away and seems to just kind of swirl and disappear into the larger ocean around you. Um, Neb, your turn. How, so Maeve, you went back up so you're how far away from me she came down the 10 to attack and then back up back up i don't know how far another 10 so about 40 still okay Okay. um you're muted i think there jen sorry oh yeah (laughs) sorry i had to come down enough to get into the healing and then i went Mm -hmm. back up to try get a little bit more out of range from the the creatures but didn't they move fast (laughs) they move really fast (laughs) yeah um then i am gonna move up 10 feet okay uh and as as i swim up i make eye contact with silas and you know i've been learning a lot from you and hopefully i can make you proud and she gr- says the shark no, oh, no i'm not shark anymore that's right, you're back no here. no it, it, right. it, it it chomped me real good real good. i enjoyed the idea of the shark <laughs> trying to say that but <laughs> it would be much more fearsome uh she opens up her hand and her rock is back back in her hand mm-hmm. and then her body begins to change again as she is going to take on that uh swirling blue and purple form as she swims up 10 feet and the rock turns into a bowl <coughs> kind of the the same way it did the last time and the the bowl itself rises up because now I'm within 30 feet mm. of Maeve and just comes up to you like a drinking bowl. Um, and you get 12 hit points because Silas's thing is still up. So you get maximum hit HP. Amazing. Thank you so much. That was my <laughs> bonus action. So- uh, as I so just to paint this picture, this creature rockets up past Maeve, taking out one of her doubles, banging into her as she kind of gets her senses, looks down and sees this bowl rise up to her lips and Maeve, you know, down <laughs> her, and just takes a sip, getting some strength back to now face this creature near you. Go ahead. Uh, and then it's, so that was my bonus action. And then as an action, I'm going to look back down. Um, <laughs> How many creatures can I get in a 10 foot radius of, um, of the the water can creatures? You, can you determine between friendlies and I can. You, you can I get can, each creature of my choice. You can get three. Uh, um, and then the two above you. So you can get basically all of the all three that are in your lower clump. Yeah, I'll go for the three that are in my lower clump. Mm-hmm. Uh the once again, the, the chalice disappears when Maeve drinks of it, and then the rock is just back in Neb's hand, and this time she drops it, Ooh. and it sinks like the stone that it is, and yeah. then pulses <gasps> in the water so that it hits uh, all three of them in a 10-foot radius. I need each of them to make a constitution saving throw. That's so <laughs> exciting. Um, oh, dear. I'm so sorry. That's okay. okay. One of them fails, but one of them crits. Oh, okay. Um, and the other one gets a 23. Okay, so two of them succeeded, uh-huh. one of them fails. Um, you all notice that this explosion is stronger than it has been before. Mm-hmm. 
uh, as as I really wanted these things gone. So the mm. one that failed is going to take 10 necrotic damage. Okay. The other two are going to take five. Okay. Yeah, half as much. And <laughs> then um, as the explosion, just like underwater, when there's a, an explosion, it almost mm -hmm. then seems to suck back into <gasps> itself. Yeah. Yeah. As that happens, the rock flies back up and as <gasps> Neb catches it in the water, a little bit of that health is gonna come yes. along with as I'm gonna spend two of my hit dice and get, eight, uh, so it's nine, I'm gonna get 18 health back. Ooh, very, very nice. I, I cast yes. that at a high level. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, Neb is suddenly looking a lot better and grins back over at Silas and says, did I do good? <laughs> Silas is clenching can, can, his can we actually, uh, can, can, can we actually, I can't remember. Can we mm -hmm. hear each other? In the you, water? Can. you can, you yeah. can all okay, talk, yeah. you can hear. So, is, so yeah. yeah, I was, uh, I was thinking that I was in water and would like choke oh, no. if I started talking. So nope, you did good. so good, Neb, you did so good. And the, the faceless swirling body that is Neb right now just gives you a dual thumbs up. And that's my turn. The, yes, the oh. nebula that is mm. Neb gives the face things up. All right, Pivim is still a shark. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know, he's enjoying, you know, not dying at the moment. Um, I think he is still gonna bite, even though it's not super effective, but he's gonna, He's going to take a thing. He's going to swim up and join you up there, Maeve, Pivim. Um, he's going to swim up there as a shark. And actually, when he gets up there, he's going to leave his sharky form and become Pivim once again. And choo-choo, here we go. Um, yeah, he's going to come up. And uh, as he sort of swims up right in front of you, he's gonna, you know, pop back into tiny little gnome Pivim. And you can see the little, you know, thorny ice crystal crown around his head. And he kind of looks at you and he's gonna come forward and just boop you with his nose. And you are gonna heal for max damage on this. Uh, I shouldn't have rolled it because it's uh, not. But we're so used to it, right? Because it's maxed. I'm just going to oh, go away. Go away. How do I get rid of that? There we go. Uh, boy, that's a lot of damage. Hold on. I'm in a lot of healing. Um, <clears throat> 19 points of damage. Back. Everything knits. All of the bleeding <laughs> stops. And Maeve sort of like cracks her back and yeah. just like... Okay, <laughs> come on, boys, let's yeah. do this. <laughs> you are with his magical boop of life. Um, so yes, boop of been, life. You've been I booped. You've been booped back to life. Um, <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, him, you know, kind of floats there in front of you and goes. <laughs> He's very excited about that working. All right, number this guy is back down there. He's with um, Feruza and Neb and Silas. Feruza, two. Ooh, maybe he's gonna try. Let's see. He does not get it. Two slams coming your way. Ooh, that is a high math. That is a crit. And that mm. is a uh, 25. So one's a crit one's and a crit one's a 25? One's a 25. Ew, they both hit. Oh, and I this had is going to be really, really fun. <laughs> okay. Everyone pause for math, please. Mm. Yeah. My favorite part of this. This, this, this is what happens. No, when I the... can't believe this. When the barbarian crits, or when someone crits on the barbarian, there's always Ew, lots of math. Right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I do have I a don't... lot of resistances, so we should do. Oh, fun. Bruises. <clears throat> that is 34 points <gasps> of bludgeoning damage. <clears throat> Bruce is like not used to getting hit that hard, so she's now like, you're with resistant. a backpack and her own messenger bag in her arm, just like getting punched in the face. Your resistance will have that. <clears throat> yeah, but um, still, mm -hmm. are, you, are you still up? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I think seventeen. Yeah. From oh, that, boy. yeah, there's nothing whirling I thing. Uh, all right, up back with you, Maeve. Um, this is the one that you hit most recently. Um, and, uh, you know, you sort of also saw it swirl in on itself, 
it also appears to retreat. Um, and I'll offer you a, uh, a an opportunity attack if you'd like it. <clears throat> oh, yes, please. Okay, go for it. <laughs> um, so... Oh, that would be a natural 20. Oh my yes. gosh. We are critting all over the place. This, is, this bodes poorly for later this episode. <laughs> Using up all our luck. And then I... I mean, get... your creature crit too, so it's I apparently know. getting spread around. Yes, finally. Oh my god. <laughs> um, just check one thing. Mm. While that's checking, just so that I I'm in the right spot, it's gonna be Silas after this. Um, yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm in the right spot in initiative. You got it. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, lousy rules. Um. So that is plus four, plus four. Uh, six, five, eleven plus. Six is seventeen plus eighteen, nineteen plus twenty four. Twenty five. Twenty five. <clears throat> nice. Um, as it starts to back away, what is your what is your attack? Your your op attack? Um, that is uh using my letter opener. Okay. Um, are you shiving it? Are you swiping it? How are you? Uh, it, it is, uh, yeah, I'm just slicing at it. Okay. As it sort of... So as you see it kind of take on some sort of form and you just get this overwhelming sense of a, a jolt of fear and, and, and flight uh, coming from it. And you're like, oh, it's going to try to get away. And you swipe at it. And even though it tries to do the like suck its belly in and move away kind of thing, you're able to just get right through the center of it. And as you slice through and the swirls on either side, like either side of a paddle when you're canoeing, it swirls around and you can just feel it dissipate into the rest of the water around you. Nice. As you take it out. Uh, Silas, we are back. That's thanks to Pivum's boop. That's right. Thanks to the boop. It's entirely the boop, the boop of boop love. Mm -hmm. boop of no mish boops. <laughs> no what, what is around me? At All this right, point? Silas. So you have, there's still three of them down in your area fighting with you and Neb and Feruza. Are um, they all in uh, close to me? Like, melee yes, range? you're you're kind of all, I'm saying, you know, a clump. You're all kind of within a five foot range. You can move around each other and not do op attacks if you'd like to. You can you can target any one of those three. Got it, but not with a spell without getting. Uh, You'd have to be able to declare friendlies. Yeah. Now again, I will offer if you want to try to position yourself where you will avoid your friends and only get them. We can work on that. Work yeah, on that. no, I think I'm trying to say um, like I don't want to uh, start casting a spell in melee range that okay. is then going to have the effects of that. Uh, okay. So I guess what I'm saying is I am engaged and can't make a five foot adjustment to not without an off attack. Yeah, got it. If you okay. want to get out of range of combat, you'll have to take an off attack. Yeah, understood. Um, okay. So in that case, then um, the kind of uh, shimmery uh, figure of our aquatic gentleman yes. uh, shifts uh, from the uh, just luscious locks and and beautiful face that was uh it okay. was before um into um kind of uh it, it looks almost animated for a time mm. and it's just some white guy with blonde hair uh, <laughs> but he's still got like fish fish scales um and he uh he he uh just yells out in a really really cheesy voice I am not the ocean. I am the bulwark upon which it breaks. And it <laughs> reaches out with its trident um, that looks a lot more animated yes. this time. And um, wow. Um, good job, fella. That's a 17 to hit. That'll hit. And uh, he Well deals, done, Aqua fella. Yeah. Uh, he de uh, deals 10 points of force damage. Very nice. With that uh completely oceanic blow and uh and then with that um silas is going to since he's in melee range uh continually um he is going to 
um, kind of jump up and say, spinning blade kick. And he's going to try to just jump and spin in the water and uh, kick. And um, that is going to, uh, that's going to be a 19. Oh, so I'm assuming that one hits. Um, and that deals uh, 12 points of uh, force damage. And uh, that is bonus action, regular action. And with that, I do want to move. Um, you said Feruza is down there with me. Yes, Feruza. Who else is down there with me? Uh, Neb is, she's 10 feet up. Oh, 10 feet up. Okay, so uh, am I already next to Feruza or like yeah, are, again, is she you're... on the opposite side? No, you're all within a five okay. foot little, like I said. I just want to make sure I'm close enough to um, touch her if, if yes. needed. You can. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah, you can definitely get her um, where you are. And this time I'll say, Silas, with the other hits, when you hadn't noticed any weakening, you're also now starting to feel with that last kick, there was just a mm, mm, kind of response to it that starts to make you think uh, this thing is weakening, being yeah. taken, broken down bit by bit. Uh, is that all, Silas? Yes. All right. It is its turn. It's going to take one last stab. Mm. Two slams coming your way, Silas. Mm. Oh, these are not very good. Uh, -oh. uh That's a miss and a 22. Um, I am going, like, it almost hits me. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, Silas says, telekinetic shield! And, uh, like, swipes his arm up. And uh, you see the water just stops in, in front of the Oh, oh amazing. Right. Like, almost like a sheet of ice. Uh, it just kind of presses up against it and kind of, you know, can't find its way uh, through to Silas. All right. Robin, in the bag, slung over the shoulder <laughs> On my of shoulder. a New York attorney. <laughs> she thinks uh, Robin dropped it, so she caught in it. A, <laughs> in a fantasy land, surrounded by murder dolls. <laughs> what would you like to do? <laughs> Um, I cannot do anything unless I get out of the bag. So you're gonna uh, stay in the bag. No. I'm just gonna hang out. Cool. What is yeah? What is Robin? What's going through Robin's mind? At this moment? <laughs> you know what? Actually, she's having a lot of turmoil because oh. she inherently knew she could do this, but she never wanted to because mm. she knew that it meant that she couldn't do anything to protect her friends. Mm. So she is very helpless right now. So in in this bag, whether it be dark or not, she's surrounded by dolls, and she's just thinking, "I, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that." <laughs> Some of them are very cozy, yeah. Um, and and despite the fact that you know you no longer have the necklace, uh, you know they they recognize your scent and uh, are kind of curled up around you. Oh no! Uh, you do feel the sort of vastness of this space. I mean, you're like, wow, this is cozy. <laughs> um, uh, you know, <laughs> you've got plenty of room, but it's it's very warm and cozy in there. And and uh, they do sort of snuggle up. One of the little dolls kind of curls up in your arm, and just you know, money. Oh. Um, trying to give you a little comfort there. All right, Robin, Maeve, we're back up to you. Um, all right, so how many are <coughs> near me now? Um, there's still two up in that area. How close are they to each Oh, other? no, one. I'm sorry. You destroyed just one. The one. Just right. the one. Just the one. So I will take my letter opener and okay. I will uh, go and, and um, swim down um, and, and say... I, I warned you not. I warned you to stay put. Okay. Uh, and give that a shot. Well, well, three of me will go <laughs> do that, I suppose. Uh, so that is a 26. Uh, 26 will absolutely hit. <clears throat> and it is that plus these. So. Seventeen points Oof. of damage as I. Uh, oh wait, and and also, and also because I'm having a uh -huh. stay plus another four. Uh, yes, yes. Um, you are just swipe, swipe, slash at this thing. You can feel it cutting through the current and breaking it off, and it tries to kind of avoid and move and wiggle around, but it's very, you know, not quite very successful at that. Um, <clears throat> uh, and you can tell. 
you know, you feel the resistance as your blade moves through these currents. Anything else there, Maeve? Uh, yes, I'm going to swim back a bit out of the way. Okay. Even though it can really it's go gonna anywhere. It's going to totally come after you. <laughs> All right, then it's going to go no. ahead and take uh, for movement. And yep. It will take, I believe it is. Uh, it's just that. Uh, it'll take another 10 points as that potential energy just crashes in on it. Yep. Um, like gravity. As it breaks forward of that, and again, you can hear kind of as it kind of takes that, that, that jolt of pain. However, it is zooming up towards you as fast as it can, and it tries to enter in and strangle you. Please make a strength saving throw. Um, is it... Okay, I get... it. Mm. Yes, it's not making an attack attack, so it doesn't have no, to. No, it's not attack. And is this a magical? Uh, no, this is a this is a physical ability. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> strength saving throw. It's a it's a twelve. It's a twelve. It succeeds. Okay. So first, you're going to take some bludgeoning damage. Twelve bludgeoning damage, and you are now grappled, and it is you can feel the pressure as it begins to start to squeeze down on your breathing apparatuses. Um, boom, 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 boom. And this is this guy. Okay, um, that is its turn. Number two, down with the rest of you. Um, oh, Feruza, two slams coming your way. That's gonna be a miss. This one's gonna be a 24. Um, yeah, it hits. Uh. Nine bludgeoning, you take half <clears throat> as it slams into you. It is now your turn, Feruza. Oh my gosh. So yeah, Feruza's her. She was basically surprised by how hard the one hit before. Yeah. So she lost, so she was a little bit shaken up and like off her, um, off her game a little bit. However, the one that just had the audacity <laughs> to hit her, I'm gonna get it. Okay. Um, so she pulls herself back together and screams at the top of her lungs at no one in particular because you can't really see them that well to the creatures, really, right? You can uh -huh. just get a swirling. Yeah, you get a swirling. You can target them easily, but they're they're not super formed. Okay. And again, I mean, since she knows this is the strongest weapon she has, she yeah. wields that axe in one hand. And she swings it a little bit and just throws it uh -huh. <laughs> because I have, I have an ability that allows me to throw things now when it appears back in my hand. I think I've told you guys that it's called like giant shabak or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Go for let's it. Go. And she's gonna throw it and then throw it again because I have two attacks. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. First one's a seventeen to hit. That'll hit. <clears throat> Second one is a, well, 15 hit. Those both hit. Ooh. They're just water. They're quick, but they're just water. Let's see. 12 plus, I'll do the D6, I'll do the layer. 13. Uh -huh. 15 for the first one. Okay. And the second one. One plus. Ooh! 12. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, whoo, whoo, slashing yeah. through this thing. It's, you know, you can feel the resistance as your blade goes through. Uh, it's dancing right with you, though. Seemingly still got quite a bit of strength on it. Uh, anything else, Feruza? She's just standing there baffled and extremely pissed off, but she's not encumbered yet because she's really strong. So just has no. two bags and oh, yeah. one hand. <laughs> two bags. You know, those 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 law books are heavy, right? I mean, you have <laughs> tote those around through law school. Right? The biceps of a law student. Um, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no. mm -hmm. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna move up like five feet just so that I'm definitely within 30 feet of everybody. Okay, yes, you uh, are. As she moves up a little bit more, she's still holding her hand out and the bowl appears again. She's like, oh, um, um, all right. Uh, 
You know, it's a lot easier when I just have to worry about hitting things and not dying, but okay. Uh, first, you, and the rock is gonna float up towards Maeve uh -huh. and Pivim, uh -huh. and then turn into the swirling um, blues and purples and the, the bioluminescent water. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll put it on Pivim, but it'll be real close to Maeve once again. Yeah, they're I, all right in there together. Yeah, I'm getting this. I I think Pivim is way more hurt than Maeve in this at this moment. <laughs> Pivim's uh, pretty pretty bad. Yeah, so Pivim's gonna get uh, six health. Okay, because I'll go and just put it right there. Um, and then while the swirling stays, the rock falls back into into my hand, and she looks down at Feruza and goes. Uh, well, if the bowl is a um, uh, coffee cup, and then it turns into this <laughs> sparkling coffee cup that then floats <laughs> down in front of you, Feruza. Yeah. <laughs> and when you drink it, you get you, know, until you get 12 health back because uh, oh, Silas's amazing. thing is still making everything go. Oh, um, and then, because all that was my bonus action. <laughs> Um, Thank you. As as the, you drink from the cup and it fizzles away, and once again the rock appears back in in my hand, and I'm gonna look down at one of the ones around Silas uh -huh. that looks the most hurt, and um, she's gonna clench her fist around the rock and go. I, I've been wondering how this is gonna work, and she's going to try to use her fire fist and throw some fire. Yeah. Through the water. Magic fire. I don't know how it's gonna work. Let's see what happens. Does it work? Magic, magic fire totally works. It awesome. can't light anything on fire. It won't stay flammable in the area, but it'll absolutely mm -hmm. within that that zone. Perfect. <clears> so <throat> she throws do. and uh does a 25 hit. Ooh, absolutely hits. This is the one you're throwing this one towards uh one um, of the ones on Silas, whichever looks the most most you got it. Yeah, Not I've happy. I've been uh, concentrating your attacks on either the one you're in combat with or the most injured. If okay. You haven't been specific, so it's gonna take nine fire damage. Ooh, okay. All right. Well, I guess all right, now I know that works. That, that looked really <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take it. Absolutely. Uh, in uh, fact, uh, as it as it does, it's almost like it like it it creates a little bubble of evaporation. <laughs> of steam oh my God. that then dissipates in like bubbles up above you. <clears throat> uh, and that is that is all I can do in this moment. Uh, and you hear it. <sighs> is it kind of, again, this little weird, you know, uh, moan that comes out of it as it starts to feel some pain. Yeah, listen, um, I, I, we would have talked to you, but you attacked first. So <laughs> now you're going to just get fire, all right? <laughs> um, fire, you get fire. Pivim is up there with Maeve, the one, you know, there as, as he sort of looks at you and you, you know, starting to sense that it's holding on. He's going to attempt to pull it off of you. He, just just so he knows, he yes. also gets healing again because it's the start of his turn. It's the start of his turn, another six? Uh, yes. Amazing. Uh, da, 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 da. Love it. I'm trying um, to keep an, an eye on all of this. Yes, I know. It's so, it's it's hard to keep it all night. All right. Um here there it is here we go okay come on pivim <sighs> pivim fails Aww. so as you can see pivim reaching out trying to grab onto the water get some kind of purchase on it but it's just too slippery as he tries to grab <clears throat> and even as he does you can see him kind of get tangled up within the swirling water himself um as if it's almost kind of grabbing onto him as well at the same time and you see him begin to kind of uh, lose his breath as well. At that moment then, from down below, this guy, um, Feruza and Silas, you're both going to get an op attack on this guy if you have it and want it. As it looks up and sees what's happening above and starts to rocket up in that direction <clears throat> um, and move away from you. Feruza and Silas, you may take op attacks if you'd like. Okay, Bruz is just going to literally, because <laughs> she has this big, heavy backpack. She's yeah. like, wow, this thing is nice and big. She's going to use it as a weapon how's, to blood. How's Robin's and <laughs> toting this thing around? She doesn't know Robin's in it. She's going to be like, beat him with the bag. <laughs> All right, so you're going to hit him with the per with your purse? Love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Classic yes. move. Classic New Yorker move. <laughs> Ooh, 18. 18 will hit. Yeah. And that's going to be six points of damage. 
Um, okay. Uh, Silas. I got a 16. That'll hit. And um, so uh, as it uh, starts to go up, uh, Silas uh, kind of grabs at it and just yells out, Tiger Knee! And uh, comes up with like a big knee as he's like kind of pulling down <laughs> into its uh, keister. And uh, that's going to deal uh, eight points of force damage. Okay, it'll take it. Oh. Um, so yeah, uh, it gets, you know, <sighs> but it, it, it zooms right up past you. It makes a little, a little banana curve around you, Neb, so it doesn't rat. Take your op there, um, and it slams itself into Tivum with two hits. Twenty two points of damage on him. Um, Oh yeah, it's okay. Mm. Okay, hold on. Um, okay, that's gonna bring him back down here. Uh, Is he still up? He's still up. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's where he is. Uh, that's that. Thanks, turn Silas. Your turn. <clears throat> There's uh, so, two still down there with you. Like one within is, melee range. Yes, me? two within melee range. Um, one has been mostly fighting Feruza, the other's been mostly fighting you, the one mostly fighting you, you noticed, is is on the ropes. Okay. Um, so then uh, the uh, energy behind uh, turns from, uh, you know, uh, the, the new version of an aquatic gentleman into yet another that's like super, super blocky and animated this uh -huh, time, uh -huh. and it just yells out, outrageous <laughs> i shall call this adventure the time that silas should have reminded everyone to take a rest <laughs> and, um, and then it's going to reach out with yet another animated trident okay and ooh, that was a pic made of pixels <clears throat> yeah that one was a uh that one was a 16 to hit and that did uh, 13 points of force damage. 13 points of force damage so sharp edges of those pixels <laughs> oh yeah so those pixels um seem you you know again silas as you're looking at this weird sort of currenty form in front of you it's like the pixels punch through and you see the like three squares in front of your face as it moves through that that creature and then pulls back bursting it apart into nothing in front of your eyes. Nice. All right, that was my bonus action. Mm -hmm. And so uh, with the action, there's one on Feruza. There's one on Feruza. And uh, so Silas, without uh, skipping a beat, sees the uh, <laughs> trident uh, come through, uh, burst through. Yeah. And then Silas just literally like winds up his arm and you see energy <laughs> forming. And then he flies over to the other one uh, while yelling, Marietta smash! And it's going to be great if I miss. <laughs> um, that's a 15. That, that yeah, it will hit. It will hit. <laughs> that just water. Bad. That will be bad. Um, smash oh gosh, nothing. yes, that that uh, is also thirteen force okay. points. Okay, uh, force damage. Fantastic. All right, um, yeah, boom, and you can feel again like the pressure as your your hand moves forward through it and almost like rebounds uh, with the the recoil of that uh, of that impact. Uh, anything else, Silas? That's it. All right, Robin, in the bag, in the dark. Can you hear anything outside of the bag? Robin can, yes. Robin can yeah. feel everything here, everything. The jostle. And uh, she's definitely like biting her nails and just being <sighs> like, you know what, dolls? I can't take it anymore. I've got to do something. And she's going to, as a bonus action, yes. stick her head out of the bag. She's coming out of the bag and she's going to be holding one of the dolls. <laughs> and she's going to catapult it at one of these creatures <laughs> okay which doll is it uh i was gonna say uh, one of the porcelain dolls the porcelain dolls because i have notes on what they do <laughs> oh for, for, so, so you can do the catapult attack <laughs> and if it hits it will also do its doll attack how about that oh, dolls, dolls of doom. doom i love this so much 
<laughs> Do your catapult. Oh my God. Uh, it's going to be a deck save. A deck save. And are you, you're going after the one that's on Feruza? Yes, on Feruza. Okay, a deck save. I love that you're wearing the shirt that says, I didn't ask how big the room is. I just want to cast Fireball. We need one that says, I didn't ask how big the room is. I just want to throw a doll. <laughs> also, uh, friends can be weapons too. Friends can be weapons. I just, I, don't, I like how with Robin's voice, she's like, uh, you know, listen, doll. You know, and all I can think is, <laughs> hey, you know what it is? Say, hey, doll. Oh, listen, doll. Say, doll. Say, doll. Say, doll. Say, doll. Was Rob ever a 1930s radio announcer? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> she wasn't even born yet, but she was. Yeah. Somehow. Um, uh, that is a 14. Deck saving throw. It was a 14 save. So I guess if it matches, it fails, right? <gasps> oh, <clears throat> I guess so. Yes. <clears throat> uh, and you can, there's nothing you can do to change that? Make, make me roll again. I can silvery barbs it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Good save. Come on, come on, come on. Good job. That is a nine. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you stick your head out of the bag. For Rusa freaks out. <laughs> Robin's head appears. See, like right up there next to it, like an old titan of some kind and with a little porcelain doll all right doll face and chucks it at this creature uh chucks chucky at this creature nearby as it goes mommy <laughs> what, is, what is going on here <laughs> um and it hits the creature so go ahead and give me whatever your catapult damage is oh for that. 20 points of bludgeoning oh, damage oh. 20 points it's just porcelain. Wow. But it's, it's, the, it's the speed. It's the it fastball is. special. It's the, it's the fastball special of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And because it's a the uh, the porcelain doll here. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Interesting. It has to make a charisma saving throw. I was about to say, those things had some weird Cause, powers. Because it's so cute. So, <laughs> as it goes, mommy. And its big eyes stare at this thing. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no, it fails. Hold on, wait a minute. Um No, it can absolutely be charmed. That's hilarious. Okay, it fails. Uh it now has disadvantage on attack rolls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait. Cuteness prevails. Cuteness prevails. Oh, that's not this one, that's this one. I don't okay. know what kind of porcelain dolls y'all been, you know, playing with, but ain't nothing cute about them. Uh, Creepy as hell. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, it still requires a charisma save. I'm yeah. down with that, yeah, but not for cuteness. Oh, what is this? Because it's, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, Puss in Boots. It's all oh, big, cute eyes. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. but it's, you're not throwing a beautiful cat at it. You're throwing a creepy porcelain doll. She's really pretty. You don't know. Um, okay. Amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, great. Yeah, that's your turn. So it does both of those things as it flies across. Anything else, Robin? That's all I can do. That's all you can do. Is all your right. head still sticking out of the bag? Technically, I've completely come out of the bag. Okay, technically, she's out of the bag. <laughs> yeah. Cats, uh, Robin's out of the bag. Right. Um, all right, it's the start of your turn, Maeve. You are still being strangled, so you are immediately going to take um, 11 bludgeoning damage. Um, but I get healing from Nev, right? Is it still there, Nev? So, um, I think I, I placed to, it on Pibum. It. So and Pibum's, Pibum's right there. They're all. Is me. it? Is it just a five? Oh, five I think foot? you have to be in it. It's still too far. Oh. Moves into the space, so you have to be okay. in so, the space. Okay. Or right. move through it or something. So right, right, right. all right. Okay. So yeah, you'll take that uh, at the start. And I there. can't move. And so, you can't move because um, of the grapple. All right. You can so try to break I'm, it yourself. I'm here, so I'm gonna try and uh, take my letter opener and stick it under where it's trying to compress and slice outward. <gasps> okay, give me. Okay, give me. Yeah, give me an attack roll for that. <clears throat> Not great. Um. Uh. So Twelve. No, thirteen. It's gonna miss. I, I math. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you know, uh, Pivum, you're all sort of watching. Cause Pivum's also being kind of strangled by the same. It's almost like it's got you, you know, side to side, holding on, and and you know, you're both kind of watching as you try to get, you know, 
up in there, but as you're beginning to lose oxygen to your brain, you know, it's harder and harder to control your, your movements. Um, and it is life is slowly slipping out of your grasp. Anything else, Maeve? I think that's really because everything else I do means I have to move. I know that. Yeah, there's there's nothing else I can do. Right All now. right. I can't move. I can't. I have no bonus actions left. Mm. Okay. Um, at the start of its turn. 13 more bludgeoning damage on um, both of you. Was that an attack? Uh, yes. I, I do still have duplicates up that it okay. should okay. have to take a swing. I'm maybe. okay with that. Okay. So, uh, Pivim's going to take it though. Okay. So it will hit a duplicate. Okay. Um, and what, what was its hit to see if it dissipates the duplicate or not? Um, oh, to see if it di dissipates the duplicate. This is just because you are grappled, it gets a sort of free squeeze. Okay. So it will, I'll say, so I have one duplicate left. Um, so that, yeah another one pops it's almost again almost as like again your your brain cells are sort of flickering as um as yeah. the life force is leaving and one of them just kind of pops out of existence because you can't keep it going any longer as it squeezes a little harder um <clears throat> that's it uh Pivim, you can also see a, a little blood vessel burst in one of his eyes as he begins to lose it uh number two who has disadvantage on attack rolls because of the adorable little doll that just uh, slammed into it, um, is down there with Silas. So this is a disadvantaged double attack. Um, a 17 and a, oh, that's pretty good, uh, and a 22. Um, I'm trying to remember if I have acted. What, what, what number in initiative order is this? Or like, where is this an initiative order relative so, to me? Relative to you, um, Feruza, Neb, Pivim, and one of them are going to go before you. Um, so I have a shield up. Yes. Um, until the start of my next turn. So uh, okay. both of those miss. All right. You continue to dodge to hold this shield up as it, they each sort of, yeah, like like a mime. They're trying to bang Can't in through this. the glass. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you're voguing. Can't it's a, touch this but it's miming in the in the glass cube. Um, <laughs> all right, Feruza, we're down to you. Oh my gosh. Um, Feruza is just wondering what the heck is going on. Like a, a coffee cup came and it really tasted good. It was like some warm, vin it was like warm, you know, white chocolate tastes really good. It's a really smooth taste. And she was like, wow. And then all of a sudden she got punched in the face. Yeah. And then Robin jumped out of a backpack and threw a doll. Yep. <laughs> So there's just a lot going there's on. A lot right going now. on right now, yeah. Um, and there's still that one that's on me. Yes. Okay, there's one on um, you, one on um, one on you, one on Silas, one on Maeve. Okay. Um, how far away is it from me? It's about. <clears throat> oh no, no, this one. I'm sorry. Two. There are two up by Maeve. That one rocketed up. Oh, towards... it did. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So it's probably less than thirty feet, right? Um, well, no, the one there, the two that are up above are about 30 feet away. The okay. one down by you is, is like within five feet. feet. Yeah. You all are right, right there. Next right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's literally just going to swing twice again. All right. Go for it's, it. It's just fun. Oh, no, that's gonna be Silas fun. took out the other one down there. Okay. So this is, this is only a wait, 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 no. five one. I can't math. 14 to hit. 14 will hit. Oh, oh. 14 will hit. I like being level <laughs> I'm enjoying seeing you guys scraping the bottom of your barrels. This is interesting. Funny. Using all your stuff and now I'm going to get creative. Oh, wait. Yeah. I rolled, a, I rolled a one, but let me ask you a question. Since I'm mm -hmm. swinging recklessly, do I get it? Yeah. Or is that only the first time I swung recklessly? No, you, you once, if you're, if you're, if you're reckless, you get it for the whole turn. <clears throat> So I'll, I'll try again then for that one. Oops. Yeah, this one's a 16 hit. Great, that'll hit. Okay, so let me roll some damage. 11. Ooh, 14, 15, 16, 17 for the first one. And 17 damage the first one. 
second one is, you know, oh, come on. Five. Six. Eight. Eight damage on that one. Okay. It's because maybe because she's bleeding a little bit that she's hitting oh, a little yeah. less hard than before. <laughs> well, but it, but you look, you I mean you look crazy. I mean your hair is just floating out to here, which is shocking with a little electricity. There's yes. you know blood in the air, you know in the in the water in the water around seeping as you just swirl around, hacking this thing, holding onto yeah. this bag with you mm-hmm. know Robin kind of floating out of it at the same time. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I so mean, confusion, yeah. <laughs> confusion, and you are a sight to behold. Uh, is that yeah. all, Fruza? All right, Neb. There is so much going on. 20 feet above, <laughs> 10 feet below. Oh, Miss Robin. Wow, you look bad. Um <laughs> uh, did, all right, one, I guess, I guess up there first. Um oh, I gotta do this in the right order. Okay. Uh she's gonna throw her rock up and it will explode again next to this creature that's attacking Maeve and Pivum. I needed yes. to make a there's constitution. Two, there's two up there. Oh, then can yeah. I get within 10 both feet both of them? them? Absolutely. Perfect. And this should, I need it to include Pivum. Okay. Uh, Pivum won't take any damage. I just need Pivum in that 10 foot area. He is. So each um, of them constitution saving throw DC 15. I have an 18 and a 14. So one passes, the other doesn't. Okay. Uh, the one that uh failed nope i'm looking at the wrong thing ah that thing 2d6 uh the one that failed is going to take 10 necrotic damage the one that succeeded is going to take half okay and then um the same kind of backwards explosion as everything collapses in on itself happens except this time the the rock doesn't float to neb it floats over to Maeve uh-huh. and it just kind of circles your head for a moment and you can spend one unspent hit dice and get healing plus four. Ooh. And still at max? Thank uh, you. If Silas is still focusing on his, yeah, his thing. So whatever. So. so Maeve, whatever your hit dice is, yeah. pl- plus four. Can't touch that. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was that. that okay. And then, <clears throat> and then as a bonus action... I'm going to move my my swirling bioluminescence into, if, if it's not in Pivim space, it's uh-huh. going to now be in Pivim space. Uh-huh. He will get 12 hit points back. Okay. And I got two uses of that left. Ooh, wow. And then maybe as you feel a little bit better, the rock appears in my hand again. And it's like, so this is getting heavy. Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, I'm doing what I can. It was more right. fun being a shark, I guess. Is, is that um so does that only work once per round? Which so I got a couple of things happening. The <laughs> healing sparklers I'm concentrating on. That's a spell. It stays until so many uses happen, and I can move it as a bonus action. Um the the rock but that's that, something people have to move through. They either have to move through it or I have to put it in they have in to either spot. start their turn or be put got into it. the space. So you have to be in the okay. space. And then um, as I'm passing around the coffee cup, that's why I should have said Maeve, instead of the rock just appears as a coffee cup. So so we have the coffee cup going, and then where are the sparklers? The The sparklers sparklers are on Pivot. Or on Pivot. Okay. Yeah, the coffee cup only appears when I do certain things to make the coffee cup happen. And so uh, the spell that I cast that went, let the coffee cup happen. This is complicated, everybody. I got a flow yeah, chart. Tr- I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> but yeah, but thank do you. Do you have that to was... decide to use the thing that they move through, or is it just when they move through it, you can? It's not an action for you to decide to use the charges, or did the charges just automatically happen? The charges just automatically yes. happen to any creature She's that I let. She's moving them because the people she got wants it. to put it on are grappled and can't everything I needed to know. Got it. That's, oh, thanks. Yes. So um, they've got to move through it, and then I, I, they have to take the healing. So I guess you could move through it and say no. Um, yeah. But yes, that is still up there, and I, I am done with flowcharts. Cool. Thank you for coming on this adventure with me. Is that all, Neb? That's everything I can do. Okay, <laughs> top of Pivim's turn. He's so for take... Pivim, yes. Uh, j- just because I forgot, I used silvery barbs. I can give an advantage to someone. I'm going to give it to Pivim if okay. he has to do any sort of something. Okay, great. So advantage to Pivim. All right. Well, he's going to at the start take nine bludgeoning from being in the grapple here. Um, <clears throat> oh dear. Okay. Um, 
And then but he's, at the start of his turn, he, he takes another six, right? He gets from your, and he gets, gets another six the, back. Okay, yep. <laughs> nice. He's just <sighs> my healing sparklers are real, real nice, buddy. Uh, so yes, yeah. Oh, he's, he's why, gonna try. Why was that just six though? I thought it had been twelve. Twelve is the the coffee cup. <laughs> I'll I'll explain it all afterwards. But no, it's okay. I'm just Wait, trying on, to I'm strategically sorry. understand what's yes. going on. I thought the coffee cup was considered a healing surge or a, a hit die. Yes, but because of Silas, all healing is max for whatever you get, which is why right. the coffee. What's the twelve then? Um, the twelve was a spell that I cast that gives stuff, That's and that was oh. on whom? Oh. <laughs> You got I'm just that. Make sure I yeah. got that. So you, I need. You, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, Pivim tries to escape, and he critically fails oh, his attempt no. to no. escape. But he had the advantage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a lot better. This, uh, is, this he... is a lot of a lot of stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on. <clears throat> Level six, D and D. Here we go. Uh, that's that's okay. So he'll take that advantage on that escape thing. Um, that's going to give him a. I mean, it's going to be funny. But that will give him a nineteen now. Yes. So instead of critically failing, you see him wrench himself. It's almost like he does a pirouette in the air and like wrenches himself out of the grasp of the one in front of him. And as he does, he looks back at the 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 one that's got you grappled there and the one that's near him. Um, and taking a, oh, it disappeared. That's okay. I'll go get it over here. Um, taking a um, page out of your book, Maeve. <clears throat> he looks at both of them, positions himself so he doesn't hit you, and says, "No, get away from my friends." <clears throat> uh, and he cast a thunder wave in their direction. Uh, they are both going to make constitution saving throws. Um, ooh, interesting. A 14 and 11. Um, they are, I believe, are they both going to fail? They are, a one's going to succeed and one is going to fail. <clears throat> so, da, 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 let's roll this damage. Okay, so 12 on the failure, um, which will be the one on you, Maeve. So it's going to take 12 and get pushed out of you. So no longer grappling, grappling you anymore. It gets shoved away and takes 12 damage. Um, the other one that succeeded half as much, but is not pushed. So the other one stays right there, but takes half of that. <clears throat> um stay away from my friends he says as he pirouettes away from them um now number three which is the one that was on him and is still nearby is going to slam into him twice that is a crit <gasps> and a 24. Oof. 12. Pivim gets slammed once in one direction and his eyes go blank. He gets slammed again in the other direction and you can sense a third of his uh, life force begin to fall out as his lifeless body begins to sink down in the water. Silas, your turn. Real quick, hailing sparklers, how many charges left? Uh, Nib? Just one, sorry. Just one. Just one. All right, so um, Sil first of all, uh, with my bonus action, you see um, actually a little bit of like glitching, almost yeah. like Spider-Verse kind of thing going on. And then all of a sudden, uh, th this brave and bold Aqua um, man is, is replaced by a dark haired, uh, stern visage, winged feet, and um, says, 
I am vastly superior to that aqua man anyway, and rushes towards um, the other thing that is down there uh, near Feruza and uh, and punches and says, Namor calls thee a coward and, and punches through and tries okay. to hit that one. And then Silas is like, I don't know where this comes from. <laughs> And uh, that that's is funny. A, I do. <laughs> that's a fifteen. That'll hit. And uh, that deals uh, eleven points of force damage. Okay. Whew, he, it's, you hear the moans of pain. It's still there, but boy, is it hurting. Okay. Um, then I am going to turn and um, use my other ability and. Um, I, Silas is just uh, kind of muttering to himself, do or do not, there is no try. And uh, he uh, reaches out and telekinetically grabs Pivum and moves him through the healing sparkler. Okay, shoots him through it. All right, <clears throat> he'll pop back up at six. Yep. yep. Okay. And, and you'll watch as you shoot him through it, all of the swirling stuff just kind of dissipates in the bioluminescence once again, just out yeah. into the water um you watch all right his, crash as, you gotta clinch up as as he flies through his arms you know against the pressure of the water fall back so does his beard as it sort of trails over his shoulder as he is flying forward <gasps> does his eyes kind of open on the other side of the healing sparklers and they disappear and he hears crash you gotta <laughs> clinch up clinch up crash here we go anything else silas that was epic that's it all right robin Oh, it's my turn again. Uh, Robin is going to be seeing all this is happening to Pivim and Maeve up there. Uh, you said there's still two up there? Um, yes. So there's, yes, there's two up there and one down here with you and Feruza and, and so. Okay. Um, Robin thinks that between Feruza and Silas, it's going to be fine. They're going to figure this out on that one. So Robin is just going to point at the one that just attacked Pivim. Okay. And, uh, just shoot a firebolt. Um, so that is a, a six to hit. And that's a natural 20 to yes. hit. It's yes. so a 26. Uh, and so that will be, uh, what, what is it that you guys do? The It's double damage or what is it? Oh, I, I mean, however you want to do it as long as you're consistent, but I, I tend to roll them. <clears throat> okay. So, oh, this is fun. Ah, uh, two ones? Are you kidding me? All right, oh. so that was a total of 19 points of fire damage. Whew, okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, as this this firebolt shoots up, it's almost as, you know, as as just as um, Pivim is moving through those healing sparklers and coming out the other side, and, and, you know, at the same following up behind him is this rocket of fire as it's leaning up towards, uh, the, you know, the, the water swirl that did this to him, um, which then kind of, again, lights up a little bit of fizzing steam that begins to, the bubbles go right past you, Maeve, as they continue to the surface. Anything else, Robin? Uh, I'm still behind Feruza, right? I mean, yeah, unless you had to move up. He was about no, 40 feet away. Okay. No, that's 120 yeah. feet. Um, so yeah, you're still right there. I think I'm just going to stay behind Feruza. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> Maeve, you are up there. Um, there's still two right by... Well, no, sorry. The one that was on you got pushed 10 feet. There's the other one right by you that, you know, attacked um, Pivum. Um, <clears throat> go for it. I'll do the one that's right by me, I suppose. Okay. Uh, with... Uh, with my letter open. 21. 21 will hit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> that. Um, and I had it to stay put. <laughs> 20 points as I slice into it for, for attacking my, my booping friend. Ooh. My sweet boopy friend. Your How boopy. dare it. Um, how dare it. <laughs> uh, how dare it indeed. Almost without realizing that you're coming with this ferocious roar of how dare you. Um, as it turns and sees its, its prey, you know, 
fly up through these healing sparklers and this jolt of a firebolt hit it in the back as it turns to see you approach just teeth bared and your um, you know letter opener just slices right through it as the steam rises and whoosh, dissipates into absolutely nothing. Vengeance. That's right. And then I turn to its friend <clears throat> and I say, all right. And I start swimming towards it. Okay. Up you go. Um, it is its turn. Oh yeah. If it could do the bring it, it would do the bring it um, as it joins. Yes. Keanu. Um, it uh, like just starts to move to meet you in the center with double slams coming towards you. Um, <clears throat> 15 and 25. They will hit. Okay. You've got one double or no? You added doubles. I have one double. So yeah. Uh, so it will, uh, the first one will hit the double. Second one will hit me. All right. And, uh, yeah. And it'll 15 bludgeoning damage. I'll just it. <clears throat> okay. Um, as you both meet in the middle, it just flickers out the other one of you and the other one, you just take a nice clean one across the jaw. Um, ouch. Um, then the other one who has disadvantage, he's down there with you guys. Um, ooh, he's not doing well. What does he want to do? That other guy got away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. Yeah, he's going to retreat. Uh, Silas and Feruza, and potentially Robin as well. You can all take an op attack on this dude. And nice. He's going to pull gone. back. All right, go for it. Um, Feruza, why don't, uh, Robin, why don't you go first? Okay. Um, I'm in initiative order. That's another nat 20. Yes! Wow. Woo! What is happening? Robin needed this win. This is, this is like... The Just dice helping Robin get her confidence inside, back. Inside yeah. The back. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Go for it. 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 Um, this is interesting because uh, Robin actually, as she reaches out, you see her fingernails grow just a little bit and she claws <gasps> at him. So, behind me? Yeah, yeah, from behind. I just reach out. Yes. Claw through. <laughs> see yes. these cla this clawed hand coming forward around Are you here. kidding me? <laughs> oh no. I just, I oh. got, it's a 1d6 minus one and I rolled a one. So I got zero, but that's- oh, no. Double but zero. It's a, wait. It's a, it's a crit though. So it's I can, I can roll, 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 roll again. Roll again. Roll okay, again. that's better. Four. Okay. Four points. Four points. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? You know what? What? Um. As it starts to try to back away, and and it's just Feruza, you're getting ready to swing at it. Silas, you're you know Dukes are up, getting ready, and this mm -hmm. this this hand with claws just ferociously reaches forward and just scratches <laughs> through that current. Yeah, wait, I got this. <laughs> it seems to say. And again, as your as your claws move through and you feel the resistance, it's as if you just wipe it off as it disappears into the water around you. Yes. Um, so there's one left. I feel like the three <laughs> have gotten these on their retreat. They need to retreat sooner. Um, <laughs> all right, there's one left. It's the one up with Maeve. Um, it is now Feruza's turn. Okay, so I see I see it on Maeve. About 40 feet above you. Uh, you can okay. see, you know, this one swirling around Maeve. She's just killed, oh, 50 feet above because it, no, no, you two came, what happened? Yeah, you two came that together. That was 10 so, feet above. 10 yeah. feet. So now it's like 55, or sorry, 45 feet above you is where Maeve and this other one have kind of come to a clash in the center. Okay, so she's good. She's just gonna swim up just a little. She's like, I'm tired of you guys. And she's gonna put her ax behind her, put her, her, put her hand up just like this. And when she does this, like this lightning bolt literally yes. appears in her hand. <sighs> And it's gonna be two of those and they're lightning bolt Ooh. javelins. It's that is awesome. You all feel just a little charge in the water around you. Not harmful, but you just feel that like whew, something up your spine as it shoots through the air. I'm through the air, through the water. Go ahead, Freeze. That's a natural 20 plus six. 
That's two <laughs> for the first one. So a critical hit. Good lord. The digital dice. Game. Boy, you all needed this to pop out here. All right. Uh, so go and roll your damage. You're, you're, I need to call them and tell them to turn off that founder uh, algorithm yeah. they got going on there. <laughs> like seriously. What are you doing, man? Only Half of us are on, are on Die Hard Dice. So you... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> And some so of us are using can... digital and still haven't seen that yeah. that boost that you keep talking about. I'm just saying the percentages tonight are tonight. wild. Gosh. Okay, so the first one is an 11 damage. The second uh, lightning bolt that just comes out. Oh, come on. Oh, 13 to hit. Okay, and did you do your critical damage? Oh, I didn't. So that was the first one times it could two. Be, it could be twenty-two. Yeah. You want? Know, yeah. You can do that, or we can. You can roll it up to you. Let's do that. All right. Twenty-two plus thirteen. Mm -hmm. So we're at yeah. thirty-two, thirty-five. Yes. <laughs> Bruce has had it. Um, Maeve. I mean, you're right next to this thing. Um, it felt strong. Like it hit you and you were like, oh no, this is going to be a battle royale here. Um, <laughs> these two lightning bolts <laughs> kind of slice through it. Um, and, and immediately you can feel the energy kind of leaving the space. It is still there, um, still swimming, still, a you know, but boy, <laughs> these little kind of <laughs> moans as it just takes on um, these two hits from Feruza below. Neb, your turn. This rock is getting really heavy, <laughs> but I think I can throw it at least one more time. Okay, all right, let's let's do all of this. Um, so you said how far are they up now? Forty-five. Well, you're you're ten up from there, so thirty-five feet for you. Perfect, because I can I can make my sparklers go within sixty feet. So <laughs> once again, she's gonna sling the rock at mm, Pivum. Okay. Um, and he will be surrounded by the bioluminescence and Another he'll stick. get six health back. Okay. As And then it stays there, um, <laughs> being all, all sparkly and purple and blue. And then the rock is going to land again. She's going to look down at Miss Robin and, and, and say, I don't know where you went, but that was really impressive. You also look really hurt here. And she'll toss the rock to you. And by the time it lands in your hand, yeah, it's also a coffee mug. I feel like everybody everybody wants coffee. Um, and when, when you drink that, guilt. you will get 12 hit points back. <gasps> Once again, thank you, Silas, for your thing. <laughs> because not only does it make my life easier, it makes my math easier. And then yeah. finally, um, I this I have to do within 30 feet? Yes, I will okay. swim so that I'm within 30 feet of the final one, oh, and I will do one uh, more slinging some fire at this thing. 18 to hit? 18 will hit. Awesome. It is going to take nine fire damage, and then uh, the, the floating form of Neb is like, <clears throat> next time, let's talk, okay? <laughs> this has been a lot of math. It's been <laughs> a done. lot of math. Uh, you are done. It is still there, but again, Maeve, you see a little bit more of its essence, and bubbles begin to go. Um, Pivum's turn. Pivum's he gets pissed, six. Man. He gets another six. Yep. Yes, he's slowly getting stronger. And yes. Stronger. Get our he's... boopy boy back. Boopy boy, the boy of the boop. Um, oh, boy of the boop. Let's do the boopiest of boo boos. The boopiest of the boys. Um, interesting. He's mostly this stuff, but he can do this. Okay, let's try it. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Um, a whip of like algae and thorns and you know, so sort of sweeps out and, and wraps around the kind of central body of this thing in front of you, Maeve. Um, as it does, it sort of begins to squeeze. Doing seven damage. Um, as it begins to squeeze through, you can see it tightening around the middle. This It's squeezing through the center of, of this creature, and he pulls it back, um, kind of ripping away pieces of the current from there. He is still standing Silas. Um, how far away is this one? From you, 45. 
<laughs> okay, so um, the uh, the sub mariner um, beside me yes. um, is going to. Uh, you see the wings on its little feet, yes. like starts to you know, and charges forward, imperious Rex, and starts to like lunge forward. <laughs> but um, as it does, it only gets about twenty feet, and Silas is like. And Silas uh, moves forward a little bit uh, and then just goes, Hadouken! And you see a giant ball of uh, energy uh, go out toward it. I hope I hit with this. Um, that's a 15. It'll hit. Okay. Uh, Come and on, then, Sonic uh, Boom. Oh, I forgot I roll more with this one. Um, ooh, nice. <laughs> so that is... Um, Let's see, that's, uh, wait, math. Um, that is, uh, sorry, I was looking in the wrong place. Um, okay, so that is, um, that is 15 points of force damage. And uh, the the energy washes over. There is nothing else out there right now, though, right? Uh, Maeve like, is right the next only, to it. It's the only, the uh, only enemy. Yes, yes the okay, only baddie. Yeah, all right, then that's it. All right. This energy rockets out away from you. Maeve, you feel it kind of, you know, move the water around you. But as it does, you are untouched. This thing gets burst apart into nothing as the last of these creatures is gone. And Silas kind of swims forward a little bit more. And he's looking at, um, you know, the winged uh, foot, uh, you know, amphibious man here for just a moment. And he just shakes his head and is like, I thought you could swim way faster than that. And hey, by the way, leave her alone. Sue is married. And then it like dissipates. (laughs) Before it dissipates, I imagine, because it went straight up, it probably like stop yeah. right around where neb is so just before you come up what you hear is neb is turned to this being is like so do you go to the same place where my wolf goes or are you like is that where from? can you say hi to the wolf? and as, as it's like disappearing it's like is that an insult <laughs> no i just want to know where you oh okay uh is that so, it <clears throat> all of you take in the silence around you feeling the air for any or the air like it's feeling the water for any kind of current or disturbance slightly paranoid that these things could come out of any direction but you're fairly certain that for the moment nothing is near you but now you feel the aches and pains in the muscles that you've used uh the wounds that you've taken the little bit of life force that has been taken away and given and taken away you feel threadbare <laughs> as you continue now to sink and sink as you let your muscles go and let just the, 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 the lack of buoyancy and the weight of your bodies and the gravity pull you down and down and down. Are there any places to like actually land and sit? So the only places to land and sit would have been this spiral ramp where the globes are um you guys are right down the center you can swim to them but they are quite a ways off to the side i will offer you this as as you're beginning to um descend silas with your you know eye and uh (laughs) neb with your dark vision you know you can still mostly see around you but particularly those with better vision you think you see what might be the bottom beginning to approach maybe about 60 to 90 feet away it's very misty and silty um at the bottom there um and it's kind of approaching as you sink at your speed but before before we get there and neb's got the rock in her hand and the swirling stuff and says there's a few more a few more boosts on on this on on, if anybody needs i've got three more charges on my sparklers do you have any more very much gotcha (laughs) Maeve would love to float through some sparkles. Maeve, Maeve is bleeding. Maeve is concerned about attracting sharks. Um, yeah, I got three more charges, which will give the, the what is it, six health back. So I, I don't know who needs it the most. Uh, but um, it sounds like Maeve wants at least one. Faruza, you I'll need take, one? I'll take, yeah, whatever you have. That was, that was delicious. I, I don't have any more of that right at the moment. Oh. I just got I, I just got this. I'll take it and use this thaumaturgy to make it taste like something like beef jerky. <laughs> well, and as you float through it, she's like, well, you don't actually have to 
Well, you can tell me how it tastes later. Okay. <laughs> uh, who wants the third one? If Maeve gets gulping, one. Gulping stars like raindrops <laughs> and snowflakes. Oh. Like, that's oh. algae. Oh. That's algae. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean does Mave good... need to go through yeah. twice? Like, yeah. you know, slip and slide style? Um, just turn around Maeve and go is, yeah. Maeve is, Maeve's beat up, but if we're sinking to maybe try and find a place to rest and hopefully not. Well, I mean, I, I have just the slightest bit of energy uh, left and yeah. I, I can I can do one thing for one person. So I don't know, Miss Robin, how are you so feeling Robin at this moment? Can, I think so Robin is probably Robin is the one. in worse shape it, than are I you am still now. My back, Robin? <laughs> no, I'm off. You're my back for real? No. Oh, you're not. Yeah, <laughs> That's cute. Um, you still have my back, though. <laughs> I do. Hivim will offer 10 healing to someone. Oh, Hivim, why it. don't you heal yourself? Make okay. yourself yeah. better. Um, Silas, why don't you grab Miss Robin and uh, Maeve? Here you go, and I'll toss. The, I'll like swirl the mist around and kind of throw it to you in a, in a, like a volleyball way. And as it floats through, you get another six, and then it right. dissipates. Miss right. Robin, uh, twenty-one hit points back. Wow, nice. Oh, wait, wait. the furs oh. just realized she has so stones and friends. Wait a second, because this is all still maximized at least for the next. Oh, okay seconds. that's that's okay. one of the yeah. reasons and then like narratively also neb is like we're not going anywhere until we've like topped off because i don't know what's down there i want to see what's down there but i don't want us to die when we get there that's okay. true i am beat i mean like too much butter scraped over t <laughs> or too little butter i can't believe i messed that one up see how tired i am i know those things so, were strong. As you're, I mean, we're getting stronger too. But those things were strong. That was wrong. As you're hitting, also each other, they were hard to see, which made it even yeah. more difficult. As I mean, you are hitting each other with healing and and you know words of comfort and support and 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 fear and desperation, and you're beginning to now you're all seeing this this sort of silty, misty sea floor as it's approaching and you begin to get closer to it and sort of reaching out your feet to touch and you sink through it <gasps> it is not floor after all oh, it is no. mist oh no a uh -oh. cold cooling jolt sifts up through your spine as you breathe in the water becomes less like water and more like mist as you begin to feel a different sensation, almost as if air is lifting you up. And we will stop there for this chapter of Children mm. of Ante. Mm. Thank you all so much for being with me this evening. We'll pick this up next week. And remember, uh, what is our new one? You are what you believe yourself to be. Yes. Good night, everybody. Oh, I love that.